Okay. Okay. Um, hi, folks. Where is the lighter? Lighter. Thanks. Hi, folks. So, something so egregiously and disgustingly and horribly bad has come out recently and I don't even know how long this has been in the news. Just a few days. A few days, that's it. Yep. Okay, so that's why it's really hitting me now because I thought I paid attention and, to this stuff pretty and, well. And, and that's why it got pumped up to Irene's. So that's, this is why, uh, the Iranians are set to attack us, by the way. This, so, for, this, for this thing that he's about to talk about. So, the fact of the matter is, you, you had a president in, in Trump that is going to turn out to be the worst war criminal traitor to America that's ever lived. That's the framework that I want you to see it in. This detestable human being known as Donald John Trump stood in front of an Australian billionaire and thought, gee whiz, I would really like to be like this guy. Okay? Because that's what it comes down to. He sees an actual billionaire, which he never was. The way that Donald Trump portrayed himself as a billionaire was by false status symbols such as the Forbes 400 list that he was re recently finally taken, taken off of, which he lied in the year 1984 to get on, bearing a false name of, what the hell was the name he used? Baron? Baron something. Baron something. Yeah, the last name is eluding me. Bottom line is he used a false name. Everything. Baron Mar-a-Lago? I, I, no, no. I don't think so. Baron something. Yeah. Which is now his youngest son's name. Yeah. That's real. Coincidentally. That's, no, that, no. Nah, that ain't coinc uh. Coincidence is not a kosher word. Uh... You have Donald Trump in front of a, uh, an, uh, an actual billionaire. He used fraudulent means to pump up his net worth his entire life. And the name was a status. Trump. For whatever reason. I don't know where the origination of that is. I'll probably have to dig more into Donald's history to understand that. Probably around the same time he became a uh, 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 ascendant Mason level, thirty third or whatever. I don't know what degree Mason he is. He would go down in history as one of the greatest Masons to ever live, though, because he played the light side, and now he is literally looks like Satan, which he is. I mean, ah. Uh, you have this billionaire that's in front of Donald Trump and Donald Trump's pocketbook goes, wow, I wish his pocketbook was my pocketbook. So he wants to look like a big shot in the eyes of this Australian billionaire. 
this disgusting sack of shit decides that it's a good idea to use one of our worst weapons in our arsenal that's just recently been something that exists, known as the Moab. You remember this? Donald Trump dropped a Moab in Iraq. All of us at the time were like, what the fuck? What the hell just happened? I know a lot of MAGA folks. Uh, I'm not into this. But people like QAnons were like, fuck yeah. And they had the, the, the video of the Moab coming down and just plah, devastating shit. And they're like, yeah, fuck yeah, we're killing brown people. Disgusting dog shit. Condemn it. It's gross. That's worshiping the God of forces. If you're a Christian, you're no longer a Christian if you're into that. That's worship of the God of forces. It's repulsive. And it's of Satan. The pre- the president of Iraq called Trump up. Let me add that. The president of Iraq uh, called Trump up and was like, you leveled my own city. What's going on? And Trump said, what are you going to do about it? Another world leader, world leader, he would treat like that. Just bomb them just so he can impress the billionaire. That's insane. Um, you should be on camera too. I mean, Nah, don't worry about it. It's revenue. I'll know. be like Robin. Quivers? Yeah. You, you'd be a, you, yeah, you could be a Robin Quivers type. You're a good, that, her job you'd be good at. That's what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, I know. Howard Stern, if she retires, call me. There you go. He'd have you doing all kinds dude, of perverse things. Dude, you know? we'd be living in New York, man. That, oh my God, that's it. I either want to be on the beach or in the center city, Manhattan, in like a penthouse. Exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry about the heaviness, but I have to, this, this is like, this is what I used to do. I'm telling you, this guy, all right, I was a Trumper, Jesus, I was. Yep. I had MAGA shirt, hat, all of it. Yep, I remember the day you ripped that shirt up. Yeah, I did, but I went back to my vomit, okay? For a while. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you woke me up to a lot, which, that's awesome. That's the help. I, I always do. The help me thing. Yeah, you, it's not just serving your food and cleaning your dirty underpants. No. The fact of the matter is, is that MAGA is a cult. That has to be a baseline understanding now. That the psychopaths that are in this movement, and and I don't say that lightly because I wore MAGA shit, but I was a 2016 to 2018 MAGA-er. 2019, some really weird shit happened like George Floyd, and then the president goes, it's really bad, folks, and says nothing else about a murder of a man in the street, a minority. He said nothing other than it looks really bad, not not the appropriate response, which is what the fuck is happening to our police force, that it's capable of murdering a man in the street with everybody watching. And then they sprayed the audience at the Capitol, Bill Barr, by the order of Bill Barr, who's like some kind of Nazi. Not anymore, because now he wants to look like his shit don't stink. And he's he's anti-Trump and everything, which is correct. It's correct to be anti-Trump, okay? Don't get me wrong. But this ass-kissing of the American public and ball-washing is ridiculous, disgusting pandering. These guys, the bar is a war criminal for spraying the American people that were just out there to say, 
a guy was murdered in the street and the president said it's really bad like a fucking child that he is. Okay, with all of that bullshit being said, Donald Trump is the ball licker of more wealth than him because it's God money to Donald Trump. God money, I'll do anything for you. God money, just tell me what you want me to. God money, nail me up against the wall. That's nine inch nails, head like a hole. But that, they asked Donald Trump, Donald, what is your favorite book in the Bible? What is your favorite verse? Ah, folks, I don't really tie. <coughs> Ah, I don't really, sorry, I made myself laugh. I don't really talk about that. It's a very personal matter to me. I don't do Trump voice because it's like disgusting at this point to me because he's a fucking traitor to humanity and decency. I just felt myself vomit a bit. Do you get it? That's the righteousness though. That's how Lot, because Lot of Sodom, Lot, uh, Abraham's cousin, correct? Cousin? Not brothers. Lot, every day, it says in the scripture, I'm quoting, that he was vexed by where he lived. And that was because Lot was a righteous man. He was... Yeah, thank you, Jen. I, I appreciate you. We are feeling a lot better because blessings come from on high and people are blessed. I see you bring me back kind of spiritually and I'm like, whoa, I'm like laying this on heavy, but it has to, I have to, this is like righteousness, like John the Baptist. Sometimes you got to be like John the Baptist and look at the king and go like this because he has no fucking clothes on and he's, he's no better than, he's a rapist. Do you realize that Donald Trump in the United Kingdom has been, he was found civilly liable for the rape of a 13-year-old girl. And then you have the E. Jean Carroll case, which he's now been found criminally, no, sorry. It's once again, civilly liable for sexual assault rape both in england and america that's in two nations in a court yeah that's right jen see that i got see god had me say that for a reason that's somebody that didn't know that waving long time no see sending blessing thank pioneer woman I remember their, your name. It's good to see you. I think you were talking about food quite a bit and cooking, which is awesome. We got to get cooking here because that's a lot more positive than this type of shit. But this, I would do this on my original channel if I still had it. You would hear me really. This is it. This man is the worst citizen to ever have a social security number. He is the worst bit of sperm to ever enter the, the egg of a mother in America. He is the worst sack of scum to ever be thrown into a heap in the corner of what's called the Oval Office and Pennsylvania Avenue in DC, the District of Columbia, the torchbearer Lucifer. All right. 
for a human being to fucking be capable of what Donald Trump did, which is to literally just ball wash a mammon idol that this Australian billionaire is to him. He chooses an act of war, any, any other circumstances, which is to drop a nearly nuclear device. Oh, Jesus, I can't. Look up the Moab and the firepower that's behind it. It's a weapon of mass destruction. That's why the president Who? called up, or the president of Iraq called up Trump and said, you just leveled my city. Yeah, that needs to be known. And Trump says, what are you going to do about it? Right. That's so gross. Well, he literally said, and you said today. The we, babies. We caught this today, you said. Trump says he wants to be a king. Yes. I never heard that before. I never heard that. All the rich, all the rich rub shoulders, it's absolute poison. That's right, Jen. High smack, smack your face. So, what? I, my scripture, it's in there. I see I have it at the ready to start preaching. You can have my Bible if you want. Uh I don't yeah, I don't need to look it up because it's written there in my heart at this point and I can speak it when I need to. Okay, amen. Yes, in the book of Daniel, the prophet Daniel. It's written that the king who shall come. Uh I'm not going into prophecy at all. This oh, is my. just whoa. This is a straight reference. Okay. It's written that it was on the wall. The writing on the wall in Daniel was what? Tiki meno you farsen, which means it translates to you're found in the scales wanting and you're out. In our vernacular, you fucking suck. You're of the devil and you're gone. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. Whoa, Jesus. Holy shit, dude. All right, so it was about three days ago. So three days. No politics, please. Well, I mean, this is where it's at. I'm sorry. Excuse me. We can talk about what we want to talk about. You don't control our channel. That's right. Bugger off if you don't like hearing what we have to say. Okay, because this is a God thing. You want 20, I mean, you, you have- I blocked someone today because they told us to lay off the God talk. Well, that's never gonna happen. Yeah, they wanna focus, they wanna focus on themselves. Yeah, and the narcissism. Yeah, well, fuck that, them. No, that ain't gonna fly because the time is, we're, we're in a time, all right? You got a, you got AC written all over stuff right now. Antichrist. Anyway, Donald Trump's God is money. He he worships the golden calf with the first idol. Which then the Jews ended up worshiping a, a brass of a serpent uh, that was made of gold, that you know. That was uh, Moses' deal. And then Hezekiah took the fucking thing and he said he smashed it. It was an idol and he did away with it because everybody was focused on the golden staff. And they weren't focused on Yahweh, which is they the whole deal they got. And they fucked it bad. And that's why the Messiah had to die. The Jews fucked their relationship so bad with the creator and they were the, the, the pipeline, the DNA strain 
the line of David that Jesus had to come through. And th that had to happen one day that Jesus was born. He was either going to come into a land that would he would be born into and would accept him immediately, which is an alternate universe, or that's possible. I don't think so. That's why he had to die, and it was so important. It was an irrevocable trust deal that, that God, the Jews had gotten so disgustingly reprobate that his line, the, the Messiah could come at any segment in, in the entire span of history. He could have appeared at any certain time, but that was the time. It had to be then, no later, no sooner. It had to be that milli fucking quirk of a whatever second that he breathed his last breath and that spirit returned to the father. The energy transfer of him doing the mission and then back up that millisecond because it was like in the Garden of Eden, you had that relationship that was a father as close as the best relationship you could imagine with your father is uh, to humanity was smashed apart because of whatever happened in Eden. Was a crossbreeding and Satan fucked Eve? Possibly. Sure. That, I don't believe that. But... Uh, yeah, I know. That uh, that and and I'm not going there. I'm just saying that's out there. It's and bizarre. I don't believe that. The, the 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 fruit, the fruit. Um, you can speculate on what that was. Uh, literally, if like an apple or something. Some say pomegranate, but anyway, the point is that that relationship, for whatever reason, to the Creator, was severed in Eden. And that one point in history where Jesus breathed his last breath was the the you had a you had a chain link fence or some shit or like you know chains, and the link broke in Eden, and then the welding was complete at the moment he stopped breathing. And that's existential, really out there stuff. The repair of the, I believe double strand DNA into the single strand cord that it was in the beginning. It's it you're Adam and Eve at the fall, their DNA split in half. That's interesting. I never heard of that before. That is a revelation from me. That that video I had had one point five million views. Wow. The Amanda Breck video. He it came from Amanda Breck. I was listening to him. I'm like, holy shit, this DNA stuff. That's what the Holy Spirit makes your DNA at single strand again. And at, at Eden, it was broken apart. It was Satan. And he entered the DNA. That's why a lot of people do believe that it was sexual, that Eve, Eve had sex with the uh, devil in the garden. Yeah. Yeah, but it does make sense because what happened was a splitting in the DNA. And if you, if you have mankind, beautiful Eve, the first woman, beautiful and, and, and you know, worshipful, right? And then you take the lowest disgusting creature, which was Lucifer, that fell, and he manifests as the devil in the garden, and she mates with that. That's going to screw your genetics, for sure. It's the first woman, mankind. Reminds me of the Book of Enoch. Yeah. The daughters of, or, or the sons of God. Came unto the, do yeah, and took the wives. Of men and took wives. That's in the Bible, straight canon. That is. Genesis 6. Yep. So, the people that want to hereticize, i.e. saying that they're heretic by teaching that, that uh, Genesis has to do with um, some crossbreeding of mankind into something maybe satanic, look, it's right there. It really is. If you want to insist 
that it's not a metaphor, you can read the Song of Solomon and, okay, you're talking about pomegranates and stuff and, and eating fruit. Well, okay, that's uh, superficial, but it's very clearly talking about sex, too. Well, it's a woman wanting her husband. That's that, how it starts. Yeah. But I get, I'm speaking from the male perspective. Yeah. It's, it's a sexual book. Eat the fruit and stuff. I mean, that's, yeah. You, it's there. I recommend it. I recommend you eat that fruit. Yeah, that's it, one, it should be the first part of foreplay, really. Should be. That makes for the best sex, and you make your girl real happy. Yeah, please her first. Yeah, and then you get off, because you can get off any time easy as a fucking guy. You like, <sighs> Anyway. I'm pulling up. Anyway. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Whole Bible thing there. Holy Spirit done. We're back to the devil now. Sack of shit. Donald Trump. His citizenry should be revoked. Uh, you have a man that is willing to commit an act of war by dropping a nearly nuclear device on another nation, i.e. Iraq, that is still developing because of the dog shit that the military, industrial, neocon, asshole, psychopath organization, New World Order scumbags, that started all of the dog shit after 9-11. I'm not going there. No! <laughs> I'm going to stop right there, folks, as Alex would say. I'm going to stop right there. Back to Trump. Yes. Benedict Arnold was nothing compared to this man. Richard Nixon was a literal, Richard Milhouse Nixon was a literal boy scout compared to this guy. And a lot of people still love Nixon to this day. And my mom was a lover of Nixon. Whatever. He was an idiot and he was paranoid about losing. That was his crime. Tricky Dick was just extremely scared to lose. Donald Trump, on the other hand, is willing to cause death for the sake of ball washing with his tongue. A Australian billionaire. Now, guys, right? You're alpha if you're for Trump. Okay, you're not, though. Because this is the day I hope you see this. It, like all of the alpha guys. You know, do I have to, sh I don't know. Do I, I got to prove that I'm a man, right? For the, for the Trump alpha guys. You already did. You fuck Shanny for Christ, baby. Yeah, all right. That's cool. No, I'm like you, you know. All right. I'll prove that I'm like you. Because you think it's tough to support Donald Trump. As far as New World Order, I was always more of a Wolfpack fan, Rev. Oh, my God. Okay. We'll see that. I needed to read that to give me some, yeah, humor. The guy. His citizenry should be revoked. He should be exiled. His, his social security number should be canceled and never be used again. He is to be removed from American society. How the legal system decides to do that is up to them. I would agree with founding fathers on how they would handle a man of this level of traitor. You know what that means. 
this man is to be canceled from the lexicon of American political history. And the world. Do it for the world. The world is scared. Yeah. Trudeau has made a uh, uh, a plan in case Trump gets reelected uh, to give sanctuary in Canada to us Americans who don't oh absolutely have sir we come at your absolute behest uh, to say that you are the right elected by God elected by God leader of Canada yeah Star Spangled Banner what's that. Oh, Canada. Yeah, what's the Star Spangled Banner, man? I'll be, I'll be a Canadian citizen. I'll be, I would be happy to hand over my American citizenship uh, to I, Canada. Thank you, Jen. I, I, got, uh, I got two pairs of glasses left. The Reverend Dude shades are gone because they were in the, uh, the, the Durango. And the, the, the Dude Cowboy hat is gone because that was in the Durango, uh, we're done. But I, I love what I have. I'm happy with what I have, especially Shani. I'm blessed by Jesus. So, I don't know how more clear I could make it if you listen to my language, I'm not outright saying what I mean to say because I feel uh, that my wife is smart in advising me to not speak in such ways, and I think that's wise. Yes. But if you want, you know, Johnny Silverhand type uh, ideology at this point in, in, in history, in America especially, I would go with his ideology a hundred percent. At when you're looking at Johnny Silverhand, he is an anarcho-communist, pretty much. He believes in fuck leadership, and the collective should guide your money, all of it. The collective, anarcho-communist, dude. With technology, yeah, the way it is and how social media is, mm -hmm. the government could totally annihilate themselves and we could run this country just by doing surveys and people doing counts on it. Yeah. So we get exactly what we need in this country compared to getting what we're told we need. Mm hmm like getting rid of cold medicine, you bastards. Oh my goodness. Do you know how many people relied on them for sleep? Like NyQuil? Right. And then DayQuil in the day to get up? Yup. That Now, what are they going to go to? Alcohol and pills? No, they told us we just need chicken soup. No, they'll go to fentanyl. Oh... You mean the government deals drugs? Yeah. Moving on. I'm a pro dare. I love dare. Me too. I'm a supporter of dare. Drug awareness resistance education. You'd vote for Trump over Biden every time. That's, hey, I mean, that's your freedom. I love Biden. I don't care what anyone says. I like what Biden's doing. I'm not happy about the economy, but there's certain little things he's doing to try to jumpstart the economy again. <laughs> the problem is... Oh. Is... Oh. The IRS. That's the biggest problem. We're not going to go into the fucking economy because that's just... it's No. That's the biggest problem is the if you, IRS. If you, they, they, they upped everything 20%. So naturally, inflation would happen. You want to fix the economy in 24 hours, you have executive order number one. You end the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States of America. 
They should have listened to Lincoln. He was completely against federalized uh, banking. That's correct. That's why he printed what were called greenbacks. Was that hot that I know that? Yeah, that's beautiful that you bring that up. He, pr he printed greenbacks, and there was also, and what happened? It was based on silver? Uh, I think silver. I believe it was Nixon that the dollar was put under gold and silver standard, but you're saying what was it based on? I uh, think it was. It was either silver or gold reserves. Yeah, it was one of them. It was based on U.S. treasuries. Yes. Which would be the amount of money that the U.S. government held at that time which now is fraudulent. If you want to change the economy for the better in 24 hours, the step one is ending the Federal Reserve of the United States of America, and you shut down the operation immediately, and you hand printing authority back to the Congress. The legislature is what controls the printing of currency, and you print based on some asset. What you base it on is extremely an intellectual economist discussion. Yeah. Communists would like to have their money based on something like your work is your worth. So somehow tying money, monetary means, into labor, which is an interesting concept. concept and might create a very stable currency in good times yeah, and Yeah, we charge the government bad. by the hour. Yeah. Wow, they owe the American people lots of money. They really do. Thank you, Jen. God bless you, too. Age limits and term limits in Congress, absolutely. Amen. Yeah, 100%. I agree with that. Oh, my God. This is somebody that I know or something. What do you mean? Is that you, Mike, or something? Let's blast Juggernaut or March of the Fire Ants, Chunky Metal for the Wind. That, I mean, you're, that's insane. That's got to be Mike. Like, we, Mike who? Giancini, one of my buddies. Oh, that's awesome. No, I don't think, I don't think it is, but I'm just saying that we used to listen to that in the car, like, constantly. Some very couple of extremely hard songs from Matt. Is it Mastodon? They're really good. Anyway, Donald, to sum all this up, and what you have to really, I'm sorry if you're if you're still MAGA, like, cause I'll pray for you. You, you you're in a cult. Yeah, you're in a cult. I'm just gonna straight up be blunt about it. You're in a cult. Yeah, and you really need to get out of this cult. And, and I almost got tempted to go into that call. I had my car on my car, women for Trump. Absolutely. Because I was really liking how the economy was. Absolutely. But see, that's what the devil does. He lures you in by Mammon. money. You can't serve He did that with Jesus. God. He tempted Jesus with everything in the whole world. Hey, Jen. Okay, this is a question for Shani, if it's okay. Will we ever be able to have Shani and you back on screen sometime? There are people that miss your content, both of us. Well, yeah. When All right. Feel like it. When you want. I think the fans need to do something for me. Okay. Because I feel a lot better being on camera. Okay. This is my fans. I need you to go to these people who are talking shit about me, flag their channel, and when you flag their channel. You say they collectively canceled Shani for Christ. Please bring her back to YouTube. And then I'll decide. And then I'll be more. Okay. I'll, but you have to give them a legitimate reason to flag the channels. Yes. What is their, what is the legitimate? Targeted uh, bullying of an individual. Targeted bullying of an individual. And that is an option uh, to pick. Be a disabled. Cyber bullying. Cyber bullying a disabled woman. There you go. Okay. And man, may I say. Well, whatever that is. This country is um, oppressive. Anyway. 
And if you could pass that around in Twitter and tag YouTube help and, and YouTube creators. And if you are a YouTube creator, you can actually contact YouTube personally. Oh my God. And get me back on YouTube and then I'll feel more comfortable being more on camera. No, no, no. I want to, I want to nip this one. No, no. Okay. Lisa Clark. Uh, 1979. I'm not saying that because we might have different views, I'm condemning you. That's not what I'm doing That's at all. That's not it. That's it's try and get out of her. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you're a Christian, get out of her. Go back to your first love. Go back to Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Not the worship of this man. Do you understand that there are there are members of your movement? You, just just admit it. You talk more. You talk more. And and you look on upon more Donald Trump than you do Jesus nowadays. Just admit that. Now see that's she's John the Baptist in our I'm like Moses and I try to be more diplomatic, okay? All I can be is blunt, man. I don't know how to do in between. Well, that's fine. That's great. Darling, I don't know why I go to extremes. It goes against my coding to sugarcoat things. <laughs> that's because that your parents. No, I get beaten the hell out of if, no, I, see, if I didn't tell the whole truth. Lisa Clark says, no, I see. No, I see what Biden has done to the working class. Or maybe it wasn't Biden. Maybe it was everything that Trump did no. while he was very quiet in the White House. We're to not. To make it seem that way. I do not agree with Inflation that. Inflation started with Trump. It didn't start with Biden. Incorrect. At the end of the Trump administration, do, gall, gas was a dollar fifteen a gallon. Yeah, but everything set it off. And let's not. Do you realize everything's based on just, petrol? Okay, you want to complain about the economy and it's Biden's fault. It is, but it really isn't because the people who control the economy are Republicans and they lead the House. Day one of the, the that's since twenty twenty two, day one. Since, yeah, well, it's gotten worse since, since they've gotten elected. Since on day one, Joe Biden killed the pipelines. Do you realize everything in the currency is based on the petrodollar? Yes, it is. Okay. That, and it's disgusting. That created the inflation. That is what created Joe Biden's pen. Literally, Joe Biden's name is what created this inflation. So if anybody wants to come to me and try to fucking debate with me that this man hasn't destroyed our economy, you are what, incorrect. But Jason, in is every that way. correct information? Did you actually it is study correct. it? Yes. Study it again. I, you better study it again. You better study it again because I know what kind of media we were listening to at the time. No, that's not true. I, that's, I'm just saying. That's not true, though. I'm just saying. I, I seen all the proof I needed that. He, he ended the pipeline. That that destroyed the fucking dollar. How about this? I agree with them destroying the pu pipeline because it was destroying the land of Native Americans. Yeah, well, we need money, man, in the country. And well, money just... is not worth raping the earth. See, this is where I become a conservative. And this is where I become a liberal. That's Yeah, exactly. But really, I'm an independent. But see, this is a good way to juxtapose shit, to just say, because I'm on your side, what? Trump is a traitor. Yeah. That's it. We fuck each other and we disagree. Yeah. You can't do that with a liberal. You can't, you can't, you can't disagree with a liberal and just like chill with them afterward. Right. See? I fuck a liberal. I am a conservative. I fuck a conservative who voted for Trump. That's right. It's disgusting to me. Not twice. Once. Well, that's 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 true. Once. He lost me in 2020, definitely. I was gone by then. He lo he lost me real fast. And the George Floyd and then and the, then the drinking the drinking of 
or injecting freaking cleaners in our freaking. He vase. said injecting sunlight. He's weird. He said maybe like they have cleaning solutions that they do for the surfaces that work real good. Uh, maybe we could inject something into the body in a similar way, and then they made it bleach. That's he didn't say inject bleach, you fucking should, retards. He, he didn't say he that. He should drink bleach. He didn't say that. He he said inject a cleaner into the body, which is dumb. Yeah. Gas was cheaper because there was a shutdown, hence less demand. The corp you can't have record profits and record inflation. Yeah, it don't work that way, but thanks for coming. Uh, if you want to go into Keynesian economics, it's 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 discredited oh, in Jesus every way. Christ. It that's that's case closed. Keynesian economics is dead. It doesn't work. Fractional reserve banking's a fraud. On its face, it's a Ponzi scheme from the from day one. Your your money, the Federal Reserve note, is play money because it's a Ponzi scheme. Your debt is debt, and debt is debt. Your money is debt because it's it's debt notes to a foreign banking cartel that's based mainly in Europe, mainly with some anonymous donors and partakers. Yeah, that's Lucifer Trust, guaranteed. Whoever it is, that's Lucifer Incorporated. So, Trump is absolutely the worst figure that's ever been in the country's history. And, and I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to paint him. Mm -hmm. Because his crimes are really blatant, out in the open. And this, for me, this thing that... Strictly for the sake of worshiping, ball washing mammon, the he's literally licking the statue in a sexual way of the golden calf, like like he's he's rubbing on the golden calf in the Bible, while Moses is getting the commandments. Okay, juxtapose that like Dathan, Dathan and Moses. That Trump is Dathan. He's gross. All right. So is Giuliani. Oh, God. And these poor women that have surrounded these people. They've all been sexually harassed. Yeah, all of them. All of them. If they were decent looking in any way, appealing to their type of taste or whatever, they were, they were used, man. In that way. Yeah, I feel bad and I forgive Jenna L. Ellis. Yeah, she seems sweet. If anyone didn't know, she pled guilty today. Yeah. On doing the, the right election thing. fraud case in Georgia. She's doing the right thing. Yeah. She's taking accountability. And um, she 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 said it herself. She was fooled by Giuliani. She probably was like, "Oh my God, Giuliani wants me to help." Of yeah, exactly. Help. Uh, yeah, it's the America's mayor for fuck's sake. This guy was like a father. And, and especially to myself that I was the fatherless kid for my whole life, since I was seven. He's like a father that at the worst time you've ever seen in American history, that he's saying we're going to be okay and we're going to rebuild. And the guys that did this are going to pay for it. And we love everybody because we're Americans together. And, and this was the worst thing that we've ever seen as Americans. And and every American had solidarity. And they demonized an entire religion. Through the media? Because those were George Bush years when they... Um, when they started with the... Uh, and I'm talking about senior. Yeah. When they started with the movies with the Islamic terrorists. Yeah. So they pre-programmed us. True Lies was one of the first, maybe. Maybe True Lies was one of the first. And it's funny, he looks like... Bin Laden? Yes. A little, a little bit, it's Aziz? Yes. Mohammed Aziz. And I want, and I, and as an American, I want to say, because of that... Bye, Jen. God bless. As, as an American, I want to say I am sorry to my my muslim brothers and sisters
that that has happened to you. Yeah. And you were so um, stigmatized as being something bad when you're not. You know well, what, what needs to be understood now, though, is that that satanic thing with 9-11, with everything, and then we demonized Muslims. Do you understand the level of ren reveration and, and respect and love that they have for Jesus Christ? I don't think you understand that. They were attacking Christian brethren. They may call themselves Muslim because they believe that Muhammad is the prophet and he is blessed. Okay. You could have your opinions on the character of Muhammad. There are patriarchs in our, the Jewish patriarchs that were abominable people that worshipped foreign gods and had orgies and stuff. Okay. Solomon got into that. Yeah. Yes, they do. I couldn't have helped them, uh, but they don't answer. Huh? I Oh, it's a, you, you guys seem to ignore a lot of people in here. Well, yeah. Try to make drama out of us talking about a, per, a subject. No, I pay attention to the comments. It's just sometimes I... Well, I, he doesn't need to pay attention to the comments. We're talking about something. Well, yeah, that's what I was... I, I'm like, that's what this is about, not talky-talky. It's a long... Who cares if we don't talk about you? Yeah, let me apologize The world for doesn't being, revolve around you. Uh, being a long-winded... Uh, you don't have to apologize. You're doing what you want to do. Fuck them if they feel so critical about how we make our own videos. Okay, yeah. No, and you're right, because I feel the spirit on this one. Amen. I haven't felt it in a long time like this, so... They just want to talk about themselves in stupid drama. Maybe. They're dumb. Maybe. Anyway, continue on. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's, I'm... I'm pretty much, I, I was very long-winded and went into the Bible and stuff, and I think that's spirit-led. So, in the book of Daniel, Tika Meni Yofarsen, Trump has been found in the scales uh, wanting. He's done. He's been weighed in the balance and found wanting. Out. He's out of humanity, in my opinion, because to have this level of disgusting behavior to literally just worship money. That's what, it was an act of worship for money. And I'm telling you, I understand where you're coming from if you're a Christian and you love Trump. I really get where you're coming from. You think he's like a David with a strong hand, a, uh, a more bold David. I understand that, but that's a deception. He is a false Messiah figure. Do you get what I'm saying? He is a false Messiah figure. He is becoming that increasingly. Yes, he is. He even has a golden statue that people pray on. Why? Yeah. That's the golden calf. So Trump is literally a figure that if you're a Christian, you must come out of him. Because he's an idol. He's an idol. I'm wearing on myself a pig, which is an unclean beast. Trump is an unclean beast for you as a Christian because his roots are rotten. His core is rotten. He cheated on every wife he ever had. Why would you support someone like that if you believe in Christ? That's correct. What is wrong with you? And I, as a Christian male, that knew in 2016, I knew about the grab them by the pussy thing. I knew about that. That's, ugh. I knew about the weirdness with his daughter. I knew that. I overlooked that as a Christian, number one, by saying that this is a repentant man of God, that this is his past Paul would have kicked him out of the church. Yeah. He would He would have been one of those gross people of the Corinthian church. Yes. He needs sexual rehabilitation and... But he, he's a rapist. <laughs> you can't fix them. 
Yeah. Majority of politicians cheat on their spouses. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, so why would you vote for them as a Christian? Yes, I knew those things. I overlooked them saying, number one, he's repentant, which is bullshit because he was cheating with uh, on Ivana, Ivanka, Ivan, sorry, Melania. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That Freudian slip for sure. <laughs> okay. He was cheating on Melania with Stormy Daniels, which makes he, she makes fun of him every day now. It's hilarious. But mushroom dick on. So, not baby carrot. I got at least something, Aww. right? Gavin found a sunspot. He's cute. He is so cute. Anyway, continue on. Donald Trump was put in the balances. He's found wanting and you're out. And I say humanity because he took the lives of, he destroyed property. He's a war criminal. He, do you understand what a war criminal is? He needs to be put in front of the Hague, tried, and whatever they decide to do with them, they do. Life in jail, whatever. He is a war criminal like the United States has never seen. His level of war criminality, there is nothing that close to approaches it in American history. That's what I'm closing with. What are the consequences to that level of traitor in the United States of America? I suggest you read the Founding Fathers' opinion. Or we could just do him like they did to Saddam. That's a very good analogy. And what were his last words? I'll see you in hell. Yep. Probably accurate. Yeah, he knew where he was going. Oh my God. You gotta have people like that, but this is because preaching's happening. Aw. Are I know people them. mad that they don't get the drama they want to talk about? No, I don't. Oh. I don't. No, because I've apologized for that profusely about. You don't. Don't. Don't talk about it. Yeah. Well, I'm at the end of my my ranting. Yeah. And, and that's so close it out. The Holy Spirit. Okay, you you don't want to be on. No, You're this done? was us talking about something. I agree. Yeah. All right. You have a former president that his name should be blotted out of history. His name should be blotted out of the history books as president. 45 canceled. It just didn't happen. Because uh, it's too dark. He was willing to bomb a nation to worship money. If you can still support Donald Trump as a Christian, you, there's something wrong. He's an open blasphemer of the creator at he, this point. He is. He's a war criminal. He needs to be tried for it, and the consequences should come. God bless you. Jesus is king. That's it. Exactly.